Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about properties of logarithms. We're going to expand each logarithm. So, if I was given this logarithm, log of a times b all to the second power. Well, <clears throat> given a times b all to the second power, when we expand this, the 2, the exponent, can come down out front. So, that 2 coming down out front, we have 2 log of a times b. Okay, very simple so far. Well, that 2 out front, log of a times b, I need to keep separating that multiplication to a times b. We know that can be addition. So when I write my 2 out front, I'm going to bracket in this. So I'm going to bracket in log of this expansion. So log of a plus log of b. All right, so that's how we expand the multiplication. Log of a plus log of b. I put that out the two outside, but I put brackets showing that it has to go to both parts, the log of A and the log of B. So when we write a final answer here, I'm going to distribute that two across to both parts. Give me two log of A plus two log of B. This gives me my final answer here of just two log of A plus two log of so let's recap. We're given log of a times b all to the second power. Well, that exponent we can bring down out front when we expand. So the exponent comes down out front. Then we're given a times b in the middle of that log. Well, that can be separated to be addition. So that's the same thing as log of a plus log of b. Now I put my brackets there showing that the 2 still needs to be multiplied to both parts, which it does. And then we distribute that 2 to both parts giving me my final answer now of 2 log of a plus 2 log of 